Hey, 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 how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? It's another one. I'm another one, okay? Just like DJ Khaled. I'm another one, okay? Shout out to DJ Khaled. He ain't watching this, but that's okay. He ain't listening to this. I mean, this is audio, not visual. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, okay, faithful listeners, okay, if you're listening to this, guess what, you're one of the beautiful people, okay, you're one of the real ones, okay, consider yourself a real one, because this content is gold, I'm telling you, people always doubt, but that's okay, I don't get mad, I'm not mad, I'm cool, I understand, people have their doubts, but I know I'm about to spit some gold right now, because I'm in the mode right now, when I feel that fire in my chest, I'm like, yes, it's about to be lit, okay? And by the way, sorry that it was so quiet in the last podcast because it was, it was, uh, <laughs> I was in the library. <laughs> I was, I was doing research and I said, you know what? I got to do this. I got to get this done, <laughs> okay? So pardon me, all right? I was trying to be cool, but I guess I was too quiet because I was listening and I was like, ooh. Anyway, this might be a little long of a podcast. It's, it's supposed to be 10 minutes, but we'll see. Welcome to the show. All right, we're going to get into it. So today we're going to talk about publishing, okay? We're going to talk about writing. We're going to talk about self-publishing specifically because I don't believe in gatekeepers, okay? I'm going to say it again. I don't believe in gatekeepers. Now, do, does that mean I'm never going to have a publisher? No, that's not what that means. Again, what I said, always do what works for you. Maybe one day a publisher will work for me. Maybe I'm too busy. I'm too busy to do to do that and deal with the drama and all that stuff that's going on right now with that stuff. You know, maybe I'll have a guy do it for me and it'll work out. That's cool. But for now, I'm not about that life. I'm about getting all in there, right? Getting my hands dirty and doing it all myself because I love this shit. Pardon my French. I love it, okay? I am all about this universe, all right? Listen, I'm doing something nobody else is doing right now. Nobody else, watch Watch all the people copy. Watch when I'm successful. As per usual, with anything that's successful in the world, watch people copy. Because this is about to take off. I already know. I did my work. It's been two years of, you know, doing all this stuff in the quiet. And now I'm coming out with, with results. All right? So here we go. So I'm going to give you five things. And this is the five right here. The one, two, three, four, fifth. Okay? This is five things you need to know. All right, to be successful when it comes to the actual mindset of publishing. Okay, you need to know this stuff. And what I mean by that is just writing, just creating, just building a universe. Okay, this is what I've learned. Okay, so first thing number one, and this is kind of a it's kind of a hard thing. People don't because we live in a uh, a world of self gratification. You know, fast, quick gratification. Nobody wants to take their time and really go into stuff and you know really go into the work and do the hard work, learn how to do foreshadowing because most people can't foreshadow for anything in their life. You know, they give up the goods too early, right? They don't have any cards left. They, they used them all, right? They blew their whole wad, pardon my French, you know, and now they, they're looking stupid, all right? They're looking stupid and that's just what it is. Number one is be patient. You have to be patient, you need to be patient. Your first writings are going to suck. They're going to be bad. You're going to not like them later. They're going to be cringe. Not many, many stories, ideas I had and many stories I've written are awful. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Many stories I've written are awful. I think the first iteration of this book was just, I look at that and I kind of cringe, bro. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Full disclosure, I am not proud of that first thing, okay? And I've done multiple since then, okay? So right now, I'm in a good spot. I'm doing pretty good. I'm very happy with, with what I have. It's very, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's very tentative, right? Everything is temporary. Nothing is permanent. I can change anything at any time, and it improves. It's only improving. It's like armor. I'm adding armor to it. You know, it's getting stronger. You know, what kill, doesn't kill it makes it stronger, just like anything else. All right. So you have to be patient. Be patient. Give yourself time. Breathe. You know, tell other stories if you want to get that out of your system. That's fine. You can tell a bunch of stories you want to tell, right? Do whatever else. Just don't make that your universe, your your whatever. But at the same time, obviously, don't be perfect. a perfectionist. You have to actually do the work. You do the work, then you cringe later. That's okay. That's fine. But you got to do the work. So that's one. Be patient. Because believe me, you're going to look back and say, dang, I really improved. You're going to see your whole journey. All right? So number two. And this is kind of a, 
Most people can't do this either. <laughs> have faith in yourself. What that means is not looking at other people and being jealous at their success. Not looking at other people's work and being like, oh, why can't I do that? Mm. You know, forget other people. Stop looking at other people. You're only competing with you. Now, obviously, that's not true. You are competing in general, right? You are. But again, what is this all about? This is your journey to publish, right? This is your journey to make something, write something, right? Well, you need to be faithful to yourself. You need to have faith. That means self-confidence. That's going to translate to everything else. You have faith here. You're going to have faith in yourself with dating. You have your faith in yourself with working out. You have faith in yourself with trying new things, learning how to fix your car. Anything else in life is going to translate. It's just like affirmations. Whatever you put in your mind is what you're going to get out. What you put in is what you're going to get out. If you put garbage in, you're going to get garbage out. If you're listening to self-deprecating shit, you're going to believe in self-deprecating shit. Pardon my French. If you're listening to positive things, that's going to, you know, like affirmations, that's going to build you up. You're going to get built up. That's just the reality. Okay. This, it is what it is. I, that's just the way human brain works. I'll make up the rules. I didn't make this universe. Okay. I just live in it. All right. Number three. Okay. This one is like, this one's like a black pill for most people. <laughs> this one makes people mad. <laughs> okay. You got to be willing. Okay. You got to be willing to give up things for your craft. You got to give up. You need to give up time, okay? You need to put the time in. What does that mean? That means you're going to write some stuff. You're going to hate it two weeks later. You're going to start over. You're going to do it again. You're going to write another thing. You're going to hate it. You're going to start over. Do it again. That means you're going to write the middle. Sometimes you're going to write the, the end. Sometimes you're going to write the, the side. Sometimes you're going to write a whole history of, a, of one character one day. And you won't put none of that in the book, but you're going to have the ability to write and think about that character and then write with that knowledge. So then now it shows that you know all this other stuff, but you allude to it, right? That is the craft of a master, okay? To become a master, you got to put time. Some people say 10,000 hours is what you need to become a master. That's what some people say. I don't know. I'm not, you know going to give you a number or a numerical thing. I, I sh Just pick something you want to do. Work on it. Keep working on it. It's got to not be work to you. It's got to feel like fun. You got to keep pushing yourself until it's fun, until it's part of who you are. You just got to make it a habit. Like people be smoking and they don't like to smoke, but they're going to smoke anyway, right? They can't stop. They can't stop smoking. The, the cigarette owns them. They slaves now. You know what I mean? You got to be like that. You got to be like, yo, this is who. I am. I'm a writer. I'm a builder. I'm a creator. I'm a maker. I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep pushing. Push, 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 push. Push yourself. That day you don't feel like doing it, you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. That's the day you got to do it. <laughs> just like if you in the grocery store or somewhere, or you just walk in whatever it is, wherever it is you are, and you see a, you see a good looking girl, and you're like, oh, I can't talk to her. Oh, she's way too pretty. You got to walk up to and talk to her right now. You got to do it right now. It's just like that. You got to do what you're afraid to do. You got to be willing to give up things. You can't, nothing, nothing comes easy. Nothing in life comes easy. Without sacrifice, you cannot be a champion. I'm going to say that again. Without sacrifice, you cannot be a champion. It requires great sacrifices to become great. Okay. To become great requires great sacrifices. All right. So there you go. You got to do it. You got to do it. It's a reality. There's a million people, more than a million people, but I'm going to say a million people. Make things simple. There's a million people out here writing and they're doing it. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know what I mean? So I don't even talk about it. I barely talk about it to people because it's so innate in me. Okay. I've got notebooks upon notebooks on hand notes writing. Okay. And then when I get on the computer, it's not even a question. I am a machine. I'm like, like I'm not even thinking. It just flows out of me. Okay, it flows out of me. I'm a, I'm a terminator of this stuff. I don't think about it. So, that and by the way, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a secret right there. I just gave you a cheat code. Don't go on the computer and be like, I'm typing. This is fresh. No, you type in from what you wrote down on paper. Now you don't have to think. You type in. It's easy. So number four. This one's also something people don't like. <laughs> this is all none of the stuff people <laughs> want to hear. But this is the truth. 
This is the truth, okay? The full truth, nothing but the truth. You gotta constantly learn new methods. You gotta keep learning new methods. There's new, there's, there's, there's people on YouTube all the time. They got people who got blogs. There's people on, on Twitter. Find somebody you like, use them as a venue to go to the next person to learn new things and another person and look at their network of people they hang out with and who they talk to and just keep going to other places and learn the methods and make it part of your life. Incorporate it, try it out, try everything that's new. If you don't like it, it doesn't work for you. Okay, move on to the next thing. Keep going, keep pushing. You gotta do it, okay? You got to also, on top of that, Adopt new ideas you like. Adopt, don't go back and change things. No, 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 no. Keep pushing forward and incorporate them as you go forward, okay? Lots of ideas I have later on in life, in my storybooks, in my stuff, I've adapted going forward. So it, it, in, in fact, my story improves as a result of that. It's like expanded universe now. You know, you can't go and say, I'm going to go start over and then do it all again. No, no, no. Don't go backwards. Go forwards. Don't worry about the past. Just keep pushing, okay? Worry about the past when it's already been published, <laughs> okay? You can worry about it when you already did the thing on your next book, on your next series, okay? This is you. You are here. You're not, this isn't, this isn't like just a one-off. You're going to keep going. You're here for life, all right? So number five, last but not least, okay? You need this. You need to and got to do this for yourself, okay? Please, keep this in mind. You got to choose the basis of your story. What are the key elements that never change, okay? What is it about your stuff that's unique that never changes? And keep it that way. Whatever it is that you like that is unique about it, that you will think it will take off with that. Like you think it will be good because it's got this factor. For example, if your story is about, I don't know, let's say your story is about a bunch of people who ride rhinos. That's your story. It's so unique. Like it's a universe of people riding rhinos. They fight in rhinos, okay? They, they, <laughs> you got rhino transformers, I don't know. You decide whatever it is, okay? You battling rhinos, okay, cool. The rhino world. All right, well, guess what? Don't change that shit. Keep it, okay? And don't change it. Keep that no matter what happens. Whatever you add, if you want to add unicorns to that, go for it. Now it's a world of horns. You got horn world, okay? Good for you. Keep pushing. Don't stop, okay? Now you're the horn writer, okay? <laughs> That's you. You're going to tell people to take the horn pill, okay? And give them the, and throw your book in the face, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That means you are innovating. You're adapting. You're not stopping. You're going to keep pushing. You're never going to stop. So there you go. That's the whole shebang, okay? I'm gonna just let you know right now. All this, I just came up with today, but it's the truth. I was sitting there and I was looking at all my notes over the past two years and I said, what did you learn the most? What was something that was consistent throughout the whole journey of this writing thing? And I said, oh, it's these five things. Okay, and I really sat there and I looked at everything and these five things have stayed static. Being patient paid off, you know, having faith in myself paid off. And that was hard. That was not easy. So I'm, I'm telling you this from some, a, a position that is not easy, right? Con constantly learning new things was not easy. Being willing to give up and sacrifice things, that was definitely not easy. And keep consistent Right, keeping those consistent things, those those same patterns. I was so tempted to change everything. Oh, I want to change this. I want to change that. No, no, no. I kept it, and it paid off. So, do what works for you. Again, as I always say, do what works for you. But these in these pieces of information, these five keys in, in within this key, these five pieces of the key, will help you take uh, your writing to the next level. Anyways, if you like this, hit the like button. Thanks so much for watching or listening. Appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.